Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change out the battery on your transmitter for the Freestyle Navigator. The supplies you'll need to get started are a penny to open the battery compartment, a fresh battery, I have two just in case, and I have a little extra tape unless I, uh, just in case I need it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove the transmitter. So right here you'll see I'm wearing the transmitter, sensor bay, and my sensor. To remove the transmitter without dislodging the sensor, you just lightly lift up. As you see, all I did was take my finger along these grooves at the bottom and I lift it up. It should slide right off. As you'll see in the sensor bay, the sensor is still completely in place. I'll check that for myself in the mirror. Sensor is still in place. At this point, I need to change my transmitter battery. Every time you change the transmitter battery, you should check your transmitter for any cracks in the housing. You take the penny, give it a turn, and there is my dead battery. Now, just as the company suggests, I use only Renata 357s. And if you need more, they generally last me about a month. If you need more, uh, Abbott will actually send you more uh, at no cost, or at least it was no cost last time they sent it to me, so they may change that policy. All right, when I put the battery in the device, I want to make sure that it sits in the middle, it's well balanced, and then I want to, without manipulating it too much, I want to replace the cover. At this point, I want to ask my device to find the battery. So I went into System, Reconnect, and it should be reconnecting with my transmitter. If the battery is no good, it will not reconnect, which is why I brought in an extra battery, but it should work. Or if I put the battery in and did not have it placed well, it will not reconnect. Two beeps tell me it reconnected appropriately. I'll go in and look at my transmitter status. My battery shows 75 to 100 percent. Every time you put in a new battery, even if the battery is not uh, at its full life, it will always show you that the counter has reset. And it, so, if you're using an older battery, uh, then you might not be able to uh, uh, know the full life of the battery. Um, now it's asking me if I inserted a new sensor. Well, obviously I I haven't, so I say no. But at this point, what I want to do is um, I'm going to put the transmitter back in the sensor bay to see if it will connect to my sensor. To do this, I find the grooves in the sensor bay tray, pop it back on, I sort of check all sides. If I need additional tape at this point, I might put some on. At this point, it says new sensor detected. Have you recently inserted a new sensor? Um, I'll assume this is a new sensor and I'll say yes. My sensor code is 106. I set that. And now my 10 hour warm up period begins. So obviously you want to do this with a new sensor and not with an old one. Um, the, uh, you know, the company wouldn't recommend using an old sensor. But as you can see now, we've changed out the battery on the transmitter for the Freestyle Navigator, and you should have a pretty good three to four weeks of life in your battery left. Thanks.